Welcome to Meritor's just-in-time video series on clutch installation. If you've completed the application and related clutch component inspection videos, you're ready to install the clutch assembly. If you've not completed these videos, review the Meritor clutch application and installation inspection just-in-time videos within this series before continuing. Use the correct size of driver to install a new pilot bearing in the bore of the flywheel. Refer to the procedure of the manufacturer of the vehicle or engine. Meritor recommends using a 2VS type bearing with a molded Viton seal and high temperature grease. The heavier duty 2VS clutch pilot bearing is specifically designed to withstand the higher temperatures encountered in today's vehicle applications and meets or exceeds the OEM's recommended ratings. The actual steps to install a clutch will vary depending on the style of clutch and flywheel being used. This video will cover both the 14 inch and 15 and a half inch dual disc clutch assemblies. 14 inch pot flywheel. If working with a 14 inch pot flywheel, replace the drive pins in the flywheel and ensure they are properly aligned. Next, position the center plate onto the drive pins and check the clearance with a feeler gauge. This clearance check should be measured from the same side of the drive pins at each location. The clearance should be six thousandths of an inch or 0.152 millimeters. 14 and 15 and a half inch clutches. Install guide studs in two of the upper mounting holes for the cover and pressure plate assembly. Verify the disc fits into the flywheel opening and is not contacting the crankshaft cap screws. Install an alignment tool in the flywheel pilot bearing. Install the front clutch disc over the alignment tool. Make sure the disc is oriented correctly. Install the center plate in the flywheel housing. Install the rear disc over the alignment tool. Make sure the disc is oriented correctly. Install the pressure plate and cover assembly over the alignment tool and onto the guide studs. Install and hand tighten the cap screws that fasten the clutch cover to the flywheel. Remove the studs. Install and hand tighten the remaining cap screws. Understanding the weight of these clutch assemblies, Meritor recommends using a clutch lifting device to assist with the installation. When using a lifting device, install the complete clutch assembly on the lift pilot alignment shaft. Ensure the tabs on the center plate fit in the slots on the cover. Ensure the center plate moves freely. Ensure the front clutch disc fits the flywheel and does not contact the crankshaft cap screws. Ensure both discs are properly oriented. Lift the clutch assembly onto the guide studs, making sure the alignment shaft enters the pilot bearing. With the clutch in place, Install and hand tighten the cap screws. Remove the two guide studs and install and hand tighten the remaining cap screws. Tighten the cap screws to the specified torque in a cross type pattern. Refer to the vehicle manufacturer specifications for the cap screw torque range. Remove any caging screws or blocks from the clutch assembly. Remove the alignment shaft from the clutch assembly. If using a lifting device, remove it at this time. If a clutch brake is being used, place the brake on the transmission input shaft. Make sure the tabs on the clutch brake engage the slots in the input shaft. Note, install the fiber spacer before the clutch brake if using a resurfaced flywheel. Properly lube the following components with NLGI grade two or three lithium complex grease, release bearing, yoke fingers, cross shaft bushings, and linkage pivot points. Place the transmission in top gear. Position the transmission so that the input shaft is aligned with the pilot bearing. Move the input shaft into the clutch assembly. Make sure the two tips of the release fork are installed between the release bearing assembly and the clutch cover. If necessary, rotate the output shaft of the transmission to align the splines of the input shaft with the teeth in the hubs of the clutch discs. Push the transmission against the flywheel housing. Install the cap screws that fasten the clutch housing on the transmission to the flywheel housing. Tighten the cap screws to the torque and sequence specified by the manufacturer of the vehicle or transmission. This concludes the Meritor clutch installation just in time video. For more information on clutch adjustment, view the next video in this series, Meritor just in time clutch adjustment. Thank you.